Welcome, religionists. James Powell here uh, with some thoughts about the evolution of religion. Many don't realize that religions evolve. Some, like the uh, very well-known, scientific, kind of materialist, atheist Richard Dawkins, seems to think that religion is something that happened back in the Bronze Age, in the time of the Hebrew Bible, when uh, little infants were smashed against the side of walls and things like that. And that anyone who would believe such a book or such events must be mad. Well, the truth is he does not apply science to religion. And that's what people in my field do. We apply scientific principles to understand this universal phenomenon. There's no place on the planet untouched by religion. And so let's take a look at the phases of religious evolution. This uh, tree of life chart here shows, for example, uh, the age of fishes. There was a time on this planet where there were only fish, nothing more complex than that. And likewise, in the world of religion, there was a time when there were only tribal religions. And so, the tribal religions involved the shaman, and the shaman was part of the family, not a distant clergy person like the Pope or the Dalai Lama. The shaman and those religions were unique to each tribe, not homogeneous uh, religions like we think of religion today, with creeds that everyone recites in precisely the same way across vast stretches of our planet. Out of the tribal religions, we see the emergence of agriculture in the ancient city-states anywhere beginning possibly as early as 12,000 BCE, give or take, uh, but most definitely with the emergence of the culture of Sumer around 5000 BCE. And then we see ancient city-states emerge and they will spread to the Yellow River in China, to the Indus Valley in India, and of course Egypt. Those are the four seats of ancient civilizations. And the religions of those civilizations tend to resemble human cities. If we think, for example, of the Greek case with Zeus as the mayor, Ares is the Department of War Minister, Athena, Department of Education, Hephaestus of Industry. We see that religions always mirror human consciousness. Out of this phase, which I will analogize with this age of amphibians here, we see the emergence of the Axial Age religions. These are the ones that most people think of as religion. Karl Jaspers, brilliant German theoretician of religion and many things, realized that Confucius, the Buddha, and Socrates all emerge in the middle of the first millennium before the Common Era. We also see universalizing themes emerge in pan-ethnic cultures. The prophet Isaiah makes it very clear there is only one God of the universe, for example. That had not been the case in earlier stages of the evolution of the Bible. Likewise, Socrates will be given the death sentence in part for corrupting the youth to believe the Greek gods were cartoony fakes. And in fact, he says, well, the universe is comprised of a divine consciousness and our consciousness is an instant of a universal principle. The universal principle emerges in the Upanishads of Hinduism and of course with the Buddha's own no self doctrine and co-originating interrelationship everyone on the planet could ascribe to those views likewise with Confucius his social system can apply to everyone in a pan-ethnic situation and becomes the dominant paradigm for East Asian religions and of course Taoism will emerge with an idea of the Tao as an all-encompassing presence comprised of the interwoven energies of male and female, yin and yang. Out of the Axial Age cultures, though, then what will come next? This is the question, because religions evolve. My opinion, in fact, my certain view, is that science itself is the new global religion for the planet. We can analogize science then as we did the Axial Age religions to the age of reptiles. Science here will be the age of mammals in our tree of life. 
There is no place on the planet where science is not practiced that I know of. Maybe some obscure tribes here and there still certainly exist, though they're dying out rapidly. And science tends to be practiced roughly the same way from East Asia to Europe to the North and South America, Africa, everywhere. So science is then the new religion for the planet. And for those who think that religion is escapable, it is not. Whether you believe in God or not, you're part of God's, or at least religion's, sphere. So the question really isn't, am I religious or not? The question is, how am I religious?